A final from the Orange Bowl in Miami where Georgia dominates Michigan 34 to 11. Stetson Bennett 20 to 30, 300 head passing yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Michigan just could not get it going. Now Georgia has a chance to win its first national title since 1980, but they got to get through Alabama to do so. Michigan, hell of a season, took down Ohio State and Iowa in the Big Ten title game, but Jim Harbaugh and company come up short in the Orange Bowl. Yeah, um, you know, congratulations to uh, Georgia. They played uh, played a heck of a game in all phases. Um, love the way our guys fought. Um, you know, wasn't uh, wasn't our best, but uh, certainly was theirs. They uh, they played extremely well. As a reminder, just like we've done during the week, if you have a question, please use the raise hand function. I'll call on you, uh, unmute your line, and uh, state your affiliation. Thank you. All right, first question goes to Richard Johnson. Go ahead, Richard. Did you unmute your line, Richard? Hi, can you guys hear me? Sorry about that. Yeah, now we can hear you. Uh, Coach Harbaugh, how did you feel about the team's physicality tonight, particularly on offense against Georgia's defensive front? Yeah, it was a, it was a heck of a football fight tonight. Um, you know, they got the they got the better end of it, but uh, I thought it was physical on both sides of the ball. Um, yeah, really, that, their execution really, I mean, on the perimeter too was uh, was extremely good. Just uh, they played well. Got to give them credit for that. The next questions for David Hale. Go ahead, David. Uh, hey, and this could be for any of you, but but particularly Jim, the way that things started with them getting off to, I think it was a 17 to nothing lead, scoring touchdowns in their first couple of drives. How much did that take you out of what you guys kind of do best and wanted to do because they were able to sort of uh, uh, negate some of your, your pass rush and you guys kind of were forced to throw the ball a little more often early on? Yeah, they did a very good job um, early in the game first half especially of uh, extending drives they're um, able to bleed out yards uh, on the perimeter with uh, you know some of the bubbles and the and the swing routes um, and then uh, you know hit the big play they got a, the swing route early uh, to Bowers that was that was big and uh, you know a couple we lost the ball in the lights on the deep throw um, they were able to bleed out the yards and, and pick up the first downs. It was, I thought they were really effective. And um, on first down, uh, they, had, they, they must have had eight or nine third and shorts. They were uh, able to get the ball to third and one, third and two, uh, and convert those those first downs and, and keep the chains moving. Um, and uh, we couldn't get them out of that couldn't get them out of that rhythm early. Um, offensively, we uh, we were able to make. Just about every drive we had had a first down in the first four drives. We had one three and out, and then um, weren't able to convert, make the big play, get the ball uh, into scoring territory. Um, had some fourth downs, uh, didn't convert those. Um, and then, uh, and unfortunately, we turned the ball over a few times, and we lost the ball in the lights one time on an offensive throw, and, and they got an interception in the end zone. So, um, Got to give them credit. They uh, they executed well. Um, game plan was good, and uh, we weren't able to uh, weren't able to keep pace. All right. Next question, Richard Johnson. You have a follow up question. No, I'm good. Sorry. Okay. All right. Next question for Steve Kornacki. Go ahead, Steve. Hi, Jim. Uh, yeah, I know it's tough after a game like this. Maybe could you share what what you had to say to your, your team after this game or also or maybe just what your thoughts are on putting this game into perspective with the whole season? Yeah, it was a great season. Um, you know, to me, it's one of the one of the best seasons uh, in Michigan football history. We were trying to make it greater. You know, we were trying to make it greater tonight. 
but it was still uh, still a great season. Though this team won't be together fully next year, um, it's still a beginning for this team. Um, this is about when uh, when our guys, my Josh Ross to my left here, and Cade McNamara to my right. Uh, it's when it began last year, and it'll begin anew uh, this year. Start of a new year. Uh, proud of them. Um, the way they kept fighting. I mean, I, mean, I could see they were. Uh, you know, they, there's no never any quitting. These guys is a very, uh, very resilient, ton of resolve with this football team. And you know, we'll. Uh, as I said, it's a. To me, it feels like a start. It feels like a beginning. Your next question for Isaiah Hole. Go ahead, Isaiah. Jim, you, you keep on saying that this feels like a beginning. What, how, what do you, how do you look forward to, in, to being able to build on what happened this season? Like, what, what are the steps that you feel like you have to take in order to be able to come back and win a game like this? You build an attacking. I think our, uh, our ball club uh, was in position to do it, and uh, we're able to get it done tonight. But. Uh, Always building and attacking at the same time. The next question for Najee Tobias. Go ahead. This question is for Jim Harbaugh. So, Coach Jim, you guys were down 34-3 in the fourth quarter. You guys were able to score a late touchdown. What could you say about that successful drive that you did have towards the end of the game because there was some success for you guys. Yeah, we were able to, uh, to get that one uh, in. We had, I mean, our, our offense was moving the ball there in the second half. We had uh, we had those drives that, you know, would have like, you know, could have converted on uh, uh, two drives before. But, you know, that's uh, got to give credit to the Georgia defense. They were they're a tough team to score on. Um, like I said, I mean, our guys keep fighting. They're not, I mean, they were the, the way they always do. The next question is for Ryan Zook. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, yeah, this is questions for Cade or Josh. How, how could this loss against Georgia potentially affect how you, how you guys view your season as a whole? Yeah, I'll go. Um, I think, you know, obviously it's very disappointing right now. I mean, we gave you know everything we got, and uh, we got beat tonight. But I think, you know, once you know, once we give it a little time, we'll be able to appreciate a lot of the great things we were able to accomplish this season. But you know, after a loss, you're obviously going to take it hard, and you know, we're a competitive group. But um, that's not going to take away from you know the great things that we had this season as well. Yeah, to piggyback what Kay said. Um... You know, we did accomplish great things this year. And although it is a disappointing way to end it, um, we did do great things this year. We can't forget about that. Um, today we we got our play and uh it wasn't the it wasn't the best game for us, but as far as the season, as far as a whole, we had so many great moments with our group, uh such a great culture that we built here. And like Coach Harbaugh says, uh it's just the beginning of what we've built, what we are building and uh moving on to next year. And next question for David Hale. Go ahead, David. Uh, yeah, for Jim or Cade, um, with JJ finishing things out, I, I'm sure you guys don't have to imagine too hard that, that the quarterback situation will be a topic of conversation for you guys from now until you take a snap again in September. Um, do, do you, Jim, do you feel like the way that the game ended has any bearing on how that, that decision uh, proceeds? And, and Cade, what was it like sort of having to watch sort of the last few drives uh, from the sideline after the way that things had gone? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, we know we have two great quarterbacks. Uh, we may no, make no apologies, make no apologies for that. Um, I felt as the we just weren't uh, the protection <clears throat> just wasn't as good as it um, as it uh, needed to be, and uh, JJ gave us more of a chance to to uh, escape it, avoid it, and uh, and run uh, because that's. That's uh, that was the reason we made that made that switch. But like I said, we got two great quarterbacks. We make no apology for that. 
Michigan has not fared well in bowl games under Jim Harbaugh. Wolverines now 0 and 5 straight up and against the spread in their past five bowl games, losing the last four to SEC teams. The latest against Georgia 34 to 11. But look, hell of a season for the Wolverines. They beat Ohio State. It was arguably the biggest win of Jim Harbaugh's career when you knocked down Ohio State. Uh, then you beat Iowa in the Big Ten title game. So, look, it's, it's not a season to sneeze at. They lost to Georgia, who was overwhelmingly the number one team in the nation all season until the SEC championship game when they got humbled against Alabama. Now it's Georgia and Alabama in a rematch, which is going to be absolutely incredible. But really, Stetson Bennett made a statement in this game. Uh, touchdown to the true freshman Brock Bowers on the first drive. I mean, that kid is an NFL talent, that tight end. True freshman. We're going to get to see him for a couple more seasons, which is pretty special there in Athens. Georgia, the first team to score in its first five drives in a college football playoff game, and the Wolverines really did themselves no help. Uh, they had three turnovers in this game, and they really never made it a game. But how about this? Brian McFadden told you to take the under, 45 and a half. It hits by a hook. Todd Furman telling you to take uh, Georgia to cover. That they do as they win by 23 points and route to the national title game in Indianapolis.